I was in the shower. How'd it go? Wait. You didn't watch? Or you didn't speak to anybody? <laughs> no. Well, then it went well. Did it really go well? Well, it depends on what your definition of well is. Um, <laughs> was it good for you? No. Does everyone else think that it went well? No. <laughs> then what was so good about it? I lost six pounds. Aaron, tell me. Ah, uh, okay, it was great, see? I was sitting there with my, um, my little copy, right? I was punching in my one little thought, and I was sitting there with my jacket, and then I had this historic flop sweat attack. Yeah. <laughs> It was. Anyway, how was your evening? What do you mean by flop sweat? I'm sure you're the only one that actually noticed. People phoned in. Stop kidding. I want to know what I'm happened. I'm not kidding. They were complaining phone calls because you were sweating. No, nice ones. No, they actually called in because they thought I was having an emergency. They thought I had a heart attack. <laughs> if that happened, why are you so chip? Jane, it was so bad that it became funny. <laughs> I had makeup running down my face. On top of that, I had people blowing me with a blow dryer, also that I can give instructions to people out in the field, which honestly, I don't mind. And I guess I'm chipper because you finally walked in. <laughs> well, oh, by the way, I thought I cooked for us. Let's get next time, I, I have to be somewhere. I told Tom, yeah, I told Tom that I would meet him. Just, just call him and cancel, like it's not. I, I can't, um, I wanted to tell you first. I think I'm in love with him. I knew it. Yes? <laughs> what? Just, um, can you, can you leave, please? Just, just go. Just, You're serious? Please, just go. Okay. No oh, way, no, come back. What's wrong? All right, all right, look. For once, I'm gonna be the bad guy, right? Imagine that I'm your friend, your, your most trusted friend. And I get to tell you awful things that other people can, because this is truth. Okay, sure. Okay, so I don't think that you should end up with Tom because, well, he stands against everything that you stand for. Because I'm a basket case? Well, yeah, no, no, not, that's, that's not what I mean, and you know that. Look, I'm sure that he's a nice guy. He's a pretty good guy. And on top of that, I've never seen you fight for anyone as much as you're fighting for him, but I think Tom's the devil. This isn't friendship, Aaron. Oh, come on. Think about it for a second. If you were to, do you really think the devil would walk around with his pointy tail all out and his horns on his head? No. No one would take him serious. What he'd do is he'd be charismatic. He'd be attractive. He'd get all the great women. And on top of that, he'd want a job where he can influence the, the great God-fearing people of this nation. Think about it for a second. I think you're the devil. Oh, you know I'm not the devil, come on. How? Well, if I were the devil, you would be the one person that I told. But wouldn't someone that is the devil want to have someone to help like Tom, like you did last week? Yes. That was fine then, wasn't it? Yes, I know, you're right. If it had gone well, I probably wouldn't be having this conversation. <laughs> Jane, look. I give you everything, right? So, why don't you just give me just this, just one, this one idea. Think about it for a second. Does he not personify everything that you stand against? Yeah. And on top of that, I'm in love with you. Whew. Okay. That um dropped the lead on that one. I remind myself not to do that. Let's talk about this. Jane, look, I have never fought for anyone as much as I'm fighting for you. Do people even win these things? <laughs>